right, it's uh, Wednesday the 10th. Yeah. Uh, 4,616 miles on Trinity right now, so that means that we're uh, 4,560 miles into the trip about. I'm sorry, 3,560 miles into the trip right now. Uh, we are heading west. We left the west coast of Florida, and I'm sorry, the east coast of Florida and Lake Helen area. We're heading to Orlando right now. We're going to see what we can get into. Today's a short day. We're on about 200 and something miles, three-hour trip. Um, and then uh, end up at my friend's house. We're going to have some ribeyes. I'm going to do some laundry, catch up. I haven't seen Lee uh, or met her boyfriend, Ryan, before, so that'll be fun. They ride, too, so that's always awesome. It's a plus. Um, but just wanted to talk, uh, I had a friend message me saying, hey, uh, so-and-so lost their daughter to suicide because of bullying. Um, and I know that bullying has been a huge subject over the past few years. Uh, it's unfortunate that we have to talk about stuff like that. Um, I know that the youth suicide has come up, and um, from what I recall reading uh, and seeing the research numbers are saying that the majority of it is because of bullying. So let's talk about bullying a little bit. If you're an adult or a young teenager, uh, and there are adult bullies, and obviously there are young teenage bullies out there too, but it's your responsibility to step up for a kid um, that's being bullied and to step up and stop it when you see it. It doesn't matter. And there's a lot of commercials. I think it was Burger King had um, did a video about uh, the burger that was bullied and how you know just about every customer complained about that, but they didn't say anything about the kid getting bullied. Obviously, it was a scenario that was staged. You know, and that's... I. I have been known to stand up in a lot of cases and be the advocate. Uh, now I do get it's not easy for everybody. You know, I'm six foot two, especially now I've got a big old beard. Everybody thinks I'm this big mean guy. I'm really the nicest guy or one of the nicest guys you could ever meet, honestly, until you give me a reason not to be. And if you're bullying somebody, you just gave me a reason not to be. But. Um, you know, so yeah, I get it. You know, if you're a little five foot, 200 pound lady who, um, for one reason or another lacks self-confidence or a guy, you know, the same build that lacks self-confidence and you've got a dude like me bullying somebody or even a kid, uh, you know, get somebody that can help and, and make it, you know, make it right. It's our responsibility as adults to groom the younger generations to be decent human beings, really, not bullying, not lying, not stealing, you know, not, not just bullying, but to be good, good people. Um, so if you see that, stop it. If you hear that your kid is doing it, stop it. If you hear that it's being done to your kid, uh, stop it, you know, and I think personal opinion here, I think that a lot of bullying is allowed by other individuals because of a lack of self-confidence. Um, I used to have a lack of self-confidence and I, many, many years ago, uh, went from no self-confidence to one of the cockiest individuals you'll ever meet. And then I found my balance. Uh, I am confident. I'm accused of being cocky still, but uh, you know there's a difference in my eyes between being confident in your abilities and being cockiness or being cocky. A lot of people confuse the two. Uh, I used to have a problem in being able to say, I don't know what I'm doing. And now if I don't know what I'm doing, I will tell you, I don't know what I'm doing. But can you help me or let's figure it out or you know whatever what are you doing here little Kia stay in your lane um, I have no problem asking 
even asking what I what I do, what I call asking down for help. Uh, a little bit different now because it's I'm not in the military anymore. I'm not in the Marine Corps anymore, so I don't have to. I don't have anybody. My last job position, I was the bottom. Um, I was the the in line, the junior individual. So everyone I asked was above me. But even in the Marine Corps, I'd come along, something new came out, something new changed. I was gone for a week or whatever, gone for, you know, like on recruiting duty, gone for three years. I would ask. I would ask a, a junior Marine, like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing here, show me. And it kind of blew some people out of the water, and then it became uh, expected. So don't allow yourself to be cocky. If you don't know, tell them, all right? Build, build self-confidence in yourself. Help other people build their self-confidence. Uh, and I think that if we are able to build each other up instead of tear each other down, we will realize that together there isn't anything we can't do. So together we can end bullying. Together we can end suicide. Uh, if we go against the grain, as some people do now, choose to do, um, you're not going to fix either of those problems or a lot of other problems as well. So you don't always have to go with the flow, but know it's going to be harder. But if you're going to choose to be different and go against the grain, go against the flow, that doesn't mean you have to force other people to do it with you. You know, make your choices. So uh, that's kind of my thing for the day. Um, there'll be a subscribe button and then uh, my main message video right here too on the end title. Uh, go ahead and check them out. Check out the Facebook page. Check out the Instagram. Uh, it's appreciated. If you want to donate, there's a link to donate to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention through the Ride Out of the Darkness on Facebook. Uh, I appreciate any and all support. And then more importantly, share whatever you think is uh, relevant because that's what the main goal of my campaign is, is to have help from each and every one of you getting out the facts that suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States of America right now. Over, uh, just shy of 45,000 people per year for 2016 killed themselves. Chose the wrong way out. Uh, we, we can do better. And I need your help to do that. I can't do this alone. I can do the miles, uh, you know, by myself mostly. Some of you want to join along, that's fine too. Um, but I can't spread the awareness. I can't spread the message without your help and support. And I am forever grateful for your help and support, and I thank you for that. Um, until next time, y'all have a great day. Like I said, check everything else out. And uh, let me know what you think. Put your comments down here on the bottom, and let's talk about it. That's the thing is it's hard for people to talk about suicide. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about suicide. Let's talk about bullying. Uh, and let's end both. Thanks. Love y'all. Bye.